Hello, dear friends. Matthew Watts messages are always moving. Opinion piece. End game. Lost memory. Effect Trophia. Healing karma. Global unraveling. Wizening collapse. Divine mercy is infinite. Between light and darkness. The most dynamic stage of the journey. Let's start. The end of the universal battle between light and darkness began about 90 years ago on Earth, when a flow of energy began to unravel the matrix that is now stirring in global chaos. Now it is about healing the effect of fear, recovering lost memory and clearing karma, according to Matthew's new message through his mother, Susan Ward. Some 90 years ago, in 1934, the world was still in the midst of the Great Depression, an economic crisis that had affected many countries since late 1929. Countries were attempting to recover through economic relief programs and reforms. President Roosevelt pushed his New Deal plan to alleviate the crisis, stimulate employment, and reform the financial system. According to Matthew, Nirvana will continue to ascend with the Earth into ever lighter planes of energy, but the orb will not. When all of humankind reaches the 4D evolutionary state, the orb's residents will be transferred to a dense spirit-like outpost of a 3D civilization and the orb's energy will be neutralized with an infusion of light, then returned to one of the universe's energy reservoirs. Manifestation. The original source of universal creation endowed all souls with the gift of free will to use their energy of love and light to co-create all they can imagine. The supreme being of this universe, called God, or other names in reverence, used that gift in his domain to manifest joyful, healthy, prosperous, spiritually and consciously elided souls with remarkable innate powers. Some strong souls used their free will to put 10 of the 12 DNA strands of the Waka souls into a state of dormancy and confined those number souls in a matrix that excluded all the wonderful qualities and abilities that God had given them. Thus began the universal battle between the forces of light and the forces of darkness, and it has been going on ever since. Compared, compared that matrix to balls of wool wound in the Earth's energy field reflecting the activity on the planet. Over the centuries, those balls of wool remained rigidly in place, in place, while the activity showed how one civilization after another was dominated by a succession of powerful, greedy, and ruthless individuals. About 90 years ago, a flood of light loosened those balls and they began to unravel. They continued to unravel over the following decades, and today the matrix is nothing more than countless threads of wave chaotically. That analogy, however insignificant, represents the end of the universal battle on Earth. Victory. The dark forces fight with vision, deception, corruption, and fear. The forces of light use only the power of love on the continuum. They have already won the battle. The souls you have helped to awaken now know this, and it will serve them and you well and it will serve them and you well when the truths being to begin to come to light. We don't know exactly when that will be, nor in what order they will come to light but it is realistic to foresee that before long we will be in the middle of a 
perpetual cauldron of emotional disturbances in the most dynamic stage of our journey. The messengers of light have said that out of the billions of souls who wanted to experience this unprecedented time on Earth and in this universe, you were chosen because you are the strongest. That is not a compliment, it is a fact. That is why many of you are in the trenches, so to speak, with the white hats, red hats or solidarity groups, or you are journalists, scientists, whistleblowers or undercover agents, and you are all radiating and anchoring the light that underpins all legitimate activities and action. Fear. Fear paralyzes the mind. Clear thinking and common sense are the allies when you need to act quickly, and we do not overlook the value of knowing survival te techniques. It's not fear that motivates firefighters to run into a burning building and pull out people trapped in the fire. And coast guards do not act out of fear when they dive into freezing waters to rescue those who are drowning. But fear is the only thing that drives them to do. These rescuers act with knowledge and appropriateness, as well as courage. Fear is not what drives people to help strangers who are trapped in a crashed vehicle or struggling to get up after a fall, for example. They see that help is needed and their response comes from the heart, as it is currently happening in Valencia. Consciousness, instinct and intuition are components of the soul and therefore natural reactions. Fear is an acquired feeling taught to children or learned by them through observation. Teach your children safety measures and precautions, not fear. Fear is not only a greatly amplified emotion with a lower frequency range, but it is contagious. When a person fears an impending situation or even a what if, that strong energy flows to nearby people who also have a sense of fear. And fear is the dark one's full source and perhaps their most effective tool. Their very survival requires a continuous supply of low frequency energy. So they create situations that provoke fear in the population. That vicious cycle involves the universal law of attraction. Currents of energy with fear attachments shoot out into the collective consciousness. Find situations with matching energy and bring them back to earth, thus perpetuating other fear-filled circumstances. Elections. The public is aware of the forces of light and it is doubtful that they are thinking in frequencies. However, these powerful sources play important roles in all political elections and other national issues and their consequences. Anything that gains permanence anywhere in the world will be aligned with light, and anything that has a basic intention will, will be fleeting or never take off. You deplore the loss of time that seems to fly by, and another loss you deplore is that of memory. Neither of these aspects of three-dimensional consciousness is being lost. Time has never been as you have conceived it, with 24 hours a day and 12 months a year. This has served us well, but it is no longer happening. Our time structure is collapsing as energy moves into its light density, and our periods of light and dark are occurring at a faster rate, so time is speeding up rather than being lost. The memories that many of you call missing are not. With the acceleration of everything within the universe, it's natural for the cells of the body to react by being elevated into a higher survival mode. Above all, this is affecting the brain and this is necessary. The light that the cells absorb allows the brain to shed layers of forgetfulness and programming that have prevented them from prevented it from fully functioning. If you don't experience memory loss 
or a sense of scattered thinking, then you are stuck in third density, which will not be the earth state of being for much longer. This is why it's desirable that you don't feel in firm contact with the reality of the day or the environment. Mercy. Adults who didn't choose to die when and how they did because of Satanism or the disasters caused by weather wars received personalized treatment at Nirvana healing centers with constant medical help. When the electric, when the etheric body is strong and the sick is healthy, such people are given the gift of advancing in evolutionary state and ascending to a higher level of Nirvana, where they are more there are more options for residence, comforts, encapsulated climatic areas, and means of transportation throughout the realm, as Chico Javier once explained. Young children and early adolescents also receive personalized treatment for the damaged body and mind. Throughout the recovery process, each of them receives the affection of a personal caregiver and trained counselors who perform special exercises, activities, and classes appropriate for the age, designed to reduce the intensity of cellular memory in later incarnations. Divine grace intervenes in the treatment of infants and young children used in sinister rituals, which began shortly after darkness entered this universe. Without extraordinary intervention, psychic and psychical trauma at such, young, at such young age can remain in cellular memory for up to 20 lifetimes, and no soul would willingly chose to be tormented by such aura. Thus, a unique world was established many ages ago for the youngest victims of Satanism. Each baby or child lives in a cheerful room with friendly animals and companions. While a specialist gently soothes the cellular memory, whether that process takes a year or a century, it does not age the tiny residents. Aging would cause the cells to change, and the effect would be like releasing lethal toxins into the environment. Karma. When the psyche and body are healed, the soul celebrates its gratitude. Then dematerializes the tiny body and designs one for a baby within minimal consciousness. The introduction of the new soul to mortality is a normal experience and tenderness of feeling safe and loved. The second person of the original soul has more awareness and lives a little longer, and souls of later incarnations have higher levels of intelligence, reasoning ability, and growth experience. This gradual return to a normal life reduces the effect of cellular memory until it has only a minimal subliminal influence on the person's lives. On the person's life. Individuals whose diabolical acts cause such suffering and death incur serious karma, which may be a series of very difficult lives in a third density world, confinement in a small orb while the density matches their life energy or in the most severe cases, reabsorption by the creative source, where all souls had their beginnings. Revealing the truth about the dark ones and thinkable acts is part of the planetary cleansing that will allow all souls of the earth itself to heal and advance. Dear family, simply by being, you are a source of love, light energy that does the healing. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.